Hey guys, welcome to Two Beards Podcast, where we like to talk mostly about beer. And I'm one of your hosts, Nick. This is Levi. And uh, today we're drinking a couple boys from Tent Barrel. You know, I hate the... So these were these came in a variety pack. Yeah. 12 pack. Mm-hmm. With uh, these beers and two other beers. That means you get to experience four beers three times. I would prefer if they did three beers four times. Agreed. I think that even every time. Even not just like for the, that makes our podcast really convenient, but that's a plus. Uh, it's just uh, three beers is way too little. Yeah, I don't. I don't want that. Yeah. But then again, you know, if there's a bad beer in the pack, then just likely. But I don't know. I don't know. Revel- uh, the of any of all packs that I've had, there are few where it's like I'm going to love every single beer in here. Yeah, um, Revolution is one. Where they like to throw in a beer. It's they like to throw in the strawberry Bud Light. Yeah. You know, <laughs> they, I do need this. Thank you. Uh, they absolutely do. Um, They're like no one's buying enough of this. Let's just throw it in a variety pack with some of our other <laughs> more popular beers. <laughs> What's really going to happen is like soon, uh, like Bud Light's going to be selling their variety pack, and then like two rows are going to be strawberry. And oh then my like god! Two other flavors because they need to get rid of them. Probably. <laughs> They're like we brewed too much. We over anticipated how much people would like the strawberry flavor. Some taste tester got fired. Honestly, though, right? Like, no one likes that, right? Yeah, except for like Elizabeth. She doesn't even love it. Yeah. Like it's like her least favorite out of all of them, but she still likes it. Yeah. Fucking weird. I, don't know. I really wish the Christmas pack was good enough to bring on the podcast. Yeah. Uh it still would have been fun to do on the podcast, but like all of the flavors were so bad. They really were not enjoyable whatsoever. Um I had another uh, who fuck who was it i had another cider that was like apple pie flavored or something like that and it was oh it was a uh, locust they they have something like that they made a cider not a seltzer right yeah. and it uh equally as not great it's just it's so sweet that's what it is because it's just so sweet because cider supposed to be apple you know you figure yeah. out that's a great idea really eat some cinnamon sure. good to go absolutely too sweet. You, you see, I w- I think they would have been better off going the cocktail route for like a like do an apple cider cocktail. They like rim the glass with cinnamon or you know something like along those lines, rather than like let's make this drink super sweet. Um, so I started out. We started out with the same one, the Hazy Trail, which on their website I guess it just says soft malt. Soft malt profile, low IBU, and a huge tropical hop profile. Contrasted to the profuse juice, which has like a full paragraph of information about it. Um, so I cheekily stated, I bet the brewer didn't like this. Judging by Nick's face, Nick didn't like it either. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I got a bad beer. Maybe you're not supposed to. Maybe because there's a lot of gunk in the bottom. Maybe you shouldn't pour the whole beer in. But it's there's a lot of off flavors in here. Mine's not the worst thing I've ever had. Maybe I got a bad beer. Do you want to try mine? Just to, yeah, I'm, I'm I don't want to try yours. Okay, if well. it's bad, then I want to stick with my good beer, and that's all I want to experience. That is better than mine. That's impressive. Yeah, yeah, it is better. Like it's not great yeah no it's still not great i still don't love it no but, but i didn't i wasn't like repulsed what by is it this? yeah like there it's i do have some stuff in mind so. it's yeah it's like if you remember that flavor with our shit where it's just no, I do. very bitter and gunky gunky and like oh yeah dry a lot of this this boy oh yeah that's the stuff right there got some beer cum it's like it's it's like sand but made of hops Mm -hmm. and kind of liquidy it's like wet beach sand made of hops 
Yeah. It's just... Uh, like when you're digging on like dry sand and you get to wet sand and it starts filling up with a little bit of water, you're drinking that. It's a little goopy. Yeah. That's 100% what it is. Um, it's, and it's not, it's not great, honestly. No, not a good flavor. Um, I don't, I don't know what the fuck they did. This is just kind of like, I don't know, sour. Yeah. Not, not like in a good way, like a, I don't know, just kind of like sour milk. Weird, but. Yeah, it like where where it is sour. I wish it was like a sweet citrus. Well, it's this huge tropical hop profile. Yeah, fucking right. Uh, not so much. Not so much. Big L. It's weird. I don't know. Even the head on this is like kind of weird. Oh, well, that is funky. The profuse juice is different. <laughs> It's, yeah, you've had this one, right? Yeah, I've had the profuse juice. If my memory serves me right, we'll like this one a little more, but it is a bit on the sweeter side. So kind of opposite direction. You know? Balance. I don't know, man. Podcast is in a weird spot right now, so we're figuring things out. That's what it is. <laughs> Uh, no plays on Friday. No to, plays on Friday. Just tomorrow for us. Just uh, three days ago. You know, sorry, um, sorry to let you know after the fact. Oops. Um, we, we let them know things are changing. At least we, we did, did that. We, we did. Like, things are changing. We so we're just gonna slow down and kind of produce content at our own pace till we kind of have the next kind of vision for what the future looks like. And yeah. I felt like we should not want to force anything really is what it is. Like we talked about it. We could have recorded a play as that's stuff. exactly we were just why. like, yeah, I don't want to force anything that I'm not like all in about because we're okay with making a change and slowing things down. So, and that was the thing too. Yeah. I was like, especially because we said that on the previous podcast, like it was going to be very, um, fuck. I don't know where you're going, so I can't help you out. Yeah. Sudden. Close. Uh, it's knee jerk. Inconvenient. Okay. It's going to be very inconvenient to have to record plays. Um, and then forced. Inconvenient in the sense of like, we have, it was just like, well, because like we're doing it today, you know? Yeah. So. Sure. Uh, but I'm just, uh, my point was like, even if it wasn't inconvenient, I don't think, I still think it probably wouldn't have happened well, yeah there was yeah it, it would have been forced it would have, like we didn't have a plan really like i think the best thing that would have happened is like come over play thief that's like the best idea we've got right now for plays i got a couple ideas but like sure. nothing that i'm like whip this out right now yeah i feel it so yeah no place um Speaking of playing plays, I've been uh, I've been fucking with some Need for Speed lately. Like, like what version? I th- any of that stuff. So that's the thing is, it's like Fast and Furious. They like it'll be like Need for Speed, Need for Speed Two, Need for Speed Three. This random name, this random name, Need for Speed. I'm like, you already had a Need for Speed. How are you calling this one Need for Speed? Yeah, I, I'm fine. I meant like on like, is it on? Xbox? Oh, sorry. Yes. It, like, it's, yeah, it's on okay. Xbox. It's on Xbox. So um, is it like the newest? I don't it, see graphic wise. It's like a fucking movie. Okay. So I'm assuming it's pretty new because yeah. it is like, uh, or they might have redone the the first one. Um, but okay, it's fucking gorgeous. Really, like the only Need for Speed game that I can like uh, visualize is Underground. Yeah, so I and I played those uh the first and the second one and they were both they were both pretty good. Um but the uh it's the 2015 one down below there. Okay, yeah. 
There's two more in front of that. Need for Speed Payback and Need for Speed Heat. I was going to do that, but Heat is in Miami, and it seemed like it was very cop-focused, and I'm trying to like just do like street race trying focus. Race. Yeah. I'm trying to live my life a quarter mile at a time. But like that looks so good. It it looks like that. Like okay. I uh you should try and find like a a still with some people in it. Because the first second there, I legitimately thought they just like actually filmed people. It looks that fucking good. So way better than Cyberpunk. Oh god, yeah. <laughs> But that had like this weird glossiness over it, but where it's like, is this animated or is this just the style they chose to edit it in? Like, yeah, it. Yeah, I was blown oh, away. Look at that. Little dots in her hair. Oh, yeah. Or actually, that's Porsche. It looks like a Dotson it for a second. It does look like one, yeah. And the small icon. Uh, I, I think I, for not having much time, recreated the Supra from the first movie. Okay. And I thought it was pretty good. I'll have to, I'll have to send you a picture of it. Nice. But I I, um, I got the, with my computer, it gave me like a month of Game Pass. And so I was like, oh, I'll see what games are on there. And this was on there. That's cool. Yeah. I think I'd probably like Game Pass, but I just, I don't know. I yeah. Don't know. there. It's like, if you look at the number compared to how many games there are, <laughs> it's like, there's nothing on Game Pass, you know? I thought there was quite a bit. I think there's only like a little over 100, mm. which to me, I'm like, compared to all the games in existence, it's not that many games. But when you're scrolling through them, it's like, oh, it's a pretty good amount. Yeah, I, I think to me, you, you really have to treat it like, uh, like old school renting games. Yes. Like you're absolutely. going to the store, playing a game that you're like planning on putting down. In a yeah. week or two. Yep. Which is, it's kind of like hard to. Now, yeah, 503 games. Okay, right? that's pretty good. Yeah. yeah. Um, kind of hard to wrap my head around, go like viewing gaming as that experience now. It, yeah, it's very odd, but like, yeah, for, for that reason, like it is kind of cool because you see a game that like you wouldn't buy otherwise and you're like, oh yeah, I'll, I'll download that, give it, give it a play, see how it is. Yeah, or just like scrolling through and being like, oh, Code Vein, that looks cool. Yeah. I'll play that. Absolutely. Yeah. I have no idea. Which is like is. what you would do a Blockbuster. You like, yeah. You just be like, I'm, I don't know what I want. A lot of the time, sometimes you like, you, there's a game. Sometimes you, you go want. for that game. Yeah. Right. But a lot of times you just go to Blockbuster, you're like, I just want to rent a game. Like, I don't know what I what want. What looks cool. Exactly. Yeah. I miss those times. That was, that was a fun way to play video games. They have uh, Dead Space, I think, 1, 2, and 3 on there. Nice. Thought about playing through those. That's a commitment, though. Have you played through all of them? No, I only played through 1 and 2. I heard 3 wasn't great, so I never got it. And then I know they have like those like one-off things. I don't know how those tie into the story or not, but... I think I only played 1. 1 was fucking amazing. Yeah, everyone played 1. Like, gameplay was great. The, the plot and story to it was like fantastic. Th that's like one of the games where like I don't mind walking into every single office and picking up like fucking logs from a rando person because mm -hmm. it really helps you understand the story a lot more. Um, two is great. I don't know if I sh should spoil the intro for you because you should play two. Two is equally as good as one in you my can, opinion. because I don't think i will ever play it but. fair enough so, so two starts off uh you're isaac and you are in like a hospital it's kind of like a walking dead where rick just like wake okay. up in the hospital and then with rick there was only like one or two zombies i think in the hospital that he was and he didn't really have to avoid them yep you're waking up to the hospital and there's like necromorphs fucking everywhere and you're you're in a straight i think you're in a straight jacket at first and so you just, you just have to go. run yeah cool. it's intense so, man, Walking Dead was good for like two and a half seasons. Sure, yeah, it was great for really for that time. It it really just went from great to what the fuck are you doing? Yeah, it just once they got to the farm, yeah, it really slowed down and 
Yeah. And they picked back up when you got to the the like little town with the with the mayor. The governor. The governor. Yeah. But even that pickup lasted like four seconds. Yeah, because the, the season following that is like the governor's point of view and it's slow as fuck. Yeah. Like nothing happens. Dude's like a little bitch until he like becomes who he is. Yep. So it's weird. Yeah, I don't it I don't know. And I wish like the like city scenes were so cool, just having like zombies everywhere. I know. And they just like do that for like an episode. And then you're like, well, now here's two seasons of maybe you'll see a zombie. Exactly. Yep. No, that was like so sick. Like that first like couple episodes, especially where like him and uh, Rick and Glenn are just like traversing through the city, trying to get yep. away from everything. Um, that's how I was hoping zombies was going to be in war zone where it was just going to be like everyone versus the zombies and each other and like there was going to eventually be like a, f- a fucking gigantic horde of zombies but i feel like you were That'd only ever fighting like 10 zombies at a time yeah well i mean they're all people so exactly i think it'd been too. weird to introduce bots into warzone yeah i mean it would have been a different game but it was just like f- for a special event you know it's not like a thing that they stuck with so yeah i don't know i think it would have been cool you should play world war z yeah, I should. How was that? Never played it. All right. <laughs> well, fair enough. But that's basically what that game is. All right. I liked, uh, and you never played, or did you play Left 4 Dead? Uh, I played it like a little bit. Okay. But the new one's coming out, so. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, it's not Left 4 Dead, but it's the same oh, okay. creators. I, it probably ties in somehow, but. Mm. Oh, yeah. It looks very uh, Resident Evil esque, but yeah, like you can see how many oh shit zombies there are and stuff. Yeah, Jesus Christ, is this uh, modeled after the movie or vice versa? Uh, neither. Oh. Um, World War Z, I think, is a novel series. Oh, interesting. So, yeah, I think oh. it's novels. I don't. Th- I think I mean, there probably is a graphic novel as well, but I think it's novel. Gotcha. It's just that very specific way that they like tower up on each other. Yeah, is, is like that's very specific to World War Z. Well, and I think it. I think that's also uh, specific in the books. Okay, but I don't right. know. Would make sense. Curious about uh, the new Left for Dead. Yeah, because I did Back for Blood. Is that it? Yes, Back okay. for Blood. Interesting. Oh, yep. I remember you sending me this trailer a while ago. Interesting. When is that supposed to come out? Do you remember? I think we still have a long time. Checks out. Uh, well. Allegedly. Uh, it says June 22nd of 21. In. Not that Still far. a long time. Not nah, really. Six months. Do you remember how fast last year went by? Yeah. But also considering that like Nick, Tim, and Cloak played it on stream early access like a month ago. <laughs> Got it. It's kind of weird having like streamers play a game several months in advance. Yeah, it's one thing if you give it like a month in advance. Yeah. Because then it helps build the hype around it. But like now the hype is going to die down for it completely by the time it releases or like again. two months and then a couple weeks later you release... A beta. The final trailer. Uh, and then two weeks after that the beta. And yeah. then like a gameplay trailer. Yeah. Or a gameplay trailer and, and a beta. Then they have, you have that for a month. Then but Yeah, because then the hype builds. But now it's like... It's, all, it's too spaced out. Can't wait for this in eight months. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> that for, looks fun. <laughs> gonna fucking forget about that in like two months. Yeah. Sadly. But, I mean, it's, it's left for dead, so it'll, it'll be huge. Sure, that's true. Um, you have World War Z, don't you? I think so. Thought so. Just never played it. Like, you know, same reason why I wouldn't get Game Pass. I'm... I'm just bad at playing games. 
like you're good at games. Yes, but I'm bad at playing them. Gotcha. Getting around to playing them. Yes. Got it. That makes sense. I think I just really like I I like my games are two things. Uh like multiplayer games with friends mm-hmm. or really grindy games. Oh. Like Minecraft, Ark. Lately I've been doing a lot of uh like Black Ops Zombies camo grinds and all my camos for that. Um, like that kind of stuff where I can just. I, I like, know. I like the grind and I like, like I hate when games are, when you can upgrade your shit too easily. Cause then it's just boring. You're like, well, why, why am I doing this? If it, if all I gotta do is like take a whack at something and then I get whatever the fuck I want. Um, but I don't like, like I can't just sit there on Call of Duty all fucking day and like grind out all the camos. Like, yeah, that takes so fucking long to go through something like that. I wonder how long I've played now. It's got to be a long time. Uh, is it maybe you have it on the app? I wonder. I don't know. I feel like that's something they would have. Is it on a the different app? app? Like, do they have Black Ops in? Uh, I would assume they do because they the way that they had it set up, they had multiplayer, then they had Warzone. You know that you go back and forth between. So I'm assuming that they have Cold War on here. If this shit has like, okay, I, was I say, guess it is Call of down. Duty, right? Uh, let's see, player. I can't uh, switch off Warzone. Warfare. Oh no, it's just Warzone multiplayer. There you go. Yeah, match history. Uh, yeah, time played for Warzone. I've played 201 hours. That's pretty crazy. I did not think I've played that much. That's a long time. Yeah. Wow. I'm very interested to see how much you I have logged on Warzone. Uh, 279 hours. Okay. Yeah. Multiplayer, 59 hours. Quite a bit for multiplayer. 59 hours? Yeah. I feel like I played a lot more multiplayer than you, but maybe not. 85 hours. Okay. I think you play it more often than me, but I, similar to how I am right now with zombies and grinding out camos, I play it a lot up front because I level up everything. Right. That makes sense. you do more over time. Right. Yep. Like if I could check time played within the past two months, I guarantee you played more than me. Multiplayer. Bad example, but I get what you mean. Just because I don't think either of us have really played much at all in the last two I, months. Yeah, yeah, sure. But I think you've played more than me. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Well, I don't know. That's what I'm saying. Like I, because because I play I play occasionally with friends. Mm-hmm. I, I like hop on occasionally. Yeah, I'll weird I'll uh, so fucking weird. What that you just will play multiplayer? Oh yeah, I'll just hop on and play multiplayer by myself. Like. You will do it like while waiting for us to get a war zone match. I literally would just like sit on my phone for 12 minutes. <laughs> yeah, can't. I already did that the rest of the day earlier. <laughs> so fair. I'm bored with that. Or rather, I just already did that. I remember, I remember yesterday, I, I'm trying to think what the fuck I did because I got off work and. Next thing I know, I look down and it's seven o'clock and, and I'm like, what the fuck? What did I do? Yeah. Like I haven't eaten dinner. I don't think I've played any video games yet. I'm like, my night is gone now. Like I'm going to eat. And I usually, uh, my brother and I've been, I think I told you, but brother and I've been watching the Mrs. Maisel show. Mm-hmm. Um, not the expanse. No, which, uh, yeah, yeah, I just need to do it. <laughs> Um, the fact that you're watching the marvelous Mrs. Maisel and not the expanse is really what pisses to, me off. To be, to be fair, uh, I started this show after you recommended the expanse the first time, <laughs> but before you recommended it as I, hardcore as you are lately. I just don't care. All right. I just don't care. All right. There's no excuse. Okay. Well, tonight I'll go home and watch the first episode. I will. I just watch I'm, the first I'm episode. I'm warning you. That's fine. It's a commitment. I get that. Because you have to get through six episodes. 
for it I, to make sense. I liked Moon. I think I'll I'll do okay here. What's Moon? A movie you would not like. Is it the uh, black kid? No. No, that's Moonlight. Yeah. I don't know. Moon is literally this dude just fucking sitting in his spaceship the Fuck. whole movie. And and there's like you know a space movie I haven't seen. What's that? Uh, Ad Astra. Really want to watch that. Oh. Uh. Brad Pitt. Yeah. Is that the one that? Yeah, that's me. Oh, and um. Uh, First Man. I got a bad, a lot of bad press, but still wanted to watch it. Which which one was First Man? Was that um. Wasn't that um, Gosling or something? Was it? I don't know. I can't remember. Yeah. 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 One of those two, I felt like maybe maybe I did want to see Ad Astra. I remember seeing something and I'm like, oh, that looks amazing. And then all of a sudden I get like halfway through the trailer and I'm like, never mind. I think Ad Astra is supposed to be... Uh, a slow one too. But. Oh wait, I think I've seen Ad Astra. Okay. Yes. Is it good? It's fucking weird. I uh, I thought it would be. It's which is up my alley. It, like I am a weird movie yeah, person. I think not weird in a good I way. I actually don't know if you'll like this or not because it is really good the first half, and then it just gets just yeah, it gets weird in a bad way where it's just <laughs> like. What are you doing with this movie now? Like, like some where are you going? Of, some of the cinematics just look great. Like this oh, shot, totally. the colors in this one. Yes. Really good, you know, podcast right now. We're just talking about pictures that no one can see. <laughs> just Google Ad Astra. That's all we're doing. That's all we're doing. <laughs> <laughs> and you'll be like, yeah, I like that oh, picture. I like this one too. <laughs> nice, nice colors. Those are, that is cool. Good job. You're yeah. right. May, just pretend we're talking about the same ones. That's yeah. So that's what happened. Is I saw the trailers for Ad Ad Astra, and I'm like, that looks fucking sick. Yeah, I watched it, and I was like, it's pretty good. And then it just got weird and ended really weird. And I'm like, I don't know that I liked that. There was a movie I felt the same way about, uh, but I don't think anyone saw it. I think it's like it's sunlight. Or is it sunshine? Sunshine. Yeah, sunshine. Mm. Uh, good people in it too, like um, Cillian Murphy, Chris Evans. <laughs> um, that one was a weird one. Yeah. I I, I, I I wouldn't recommend it. What else has he done? Danny Boyle. Um. If you want to click the IMDb? Oh. Oh, that works too. I was I was looking for that. Whoa, it looks weird. Uh, twenty eight days later. All right, train spotting. One hundred twenty seven hours. So he likes the murdery part. <sighs> Steve Jobs. There's no murder in Steve Jobs, right? I mean, Steve Jobs died. Did he yeah. die in the movie? Uh, I don't think I watched that one. I didn't watch that one either. This is not. Yeah, That's I, I just about. watched. I just watched Jobs. But I didn't watch any of them. Okay. Did you like Jobs? That was okay. The other thing is, I I own the uh, biography, so like, and I've read it. So I was like, but I think both of the films are very very close to the biography, and I'm like pretty accurate kinda, to his life. So it's like. Kind of read all this. <laughs> uh, I watched some. I think it was a movie uh, that was about how he started Apple between like him and Bill Gates. So maybe I did watch one of those too. It might have been this one, the Steve Jobs film. Yeah, but I thought it was a little older. I don't know. I'll, I'll have to look it up later because I don't even know where to start. I don't even know how to start Google on that. I just remember specifically it centered around him and um, fucking uh, Bill Gates. Could have been either of them. I don't know. You know what? It was the social network. Maybe. I did watch that. About starting Facebook. 
Fucking JT. Can I uh, have my bottle opener? Thank you. Think you could fashion this somehow? Wouldn't want to. I'm just like, maybe though. Yeah, but I wouldn't want to. Why would you not want to? Because of this. But it's metal. So, is, is it? this? <laughs> <laughs> um, One phrase, two messages. What movie did we watch recently? The uh, Disaster Artist. That's right. That was fucking great. Good film. I am glad we watched The Room. I'm very glad we watched The Room first. Yes, you the, have to. The Room is a masterpiece of it, like in and of itself, but like I'm so glad that we watched that first because my brother, I think my brother at some point was just like, oh, you know, James and Dave Franco, I'm going to watch this movie. But he had never seen The Room. He just watched The Disaster Artist. And I don't think you would... It's not as funny. It is no, funny. it's not as funny. It is funny, but not as funny. You like you don't understand the jokes that they're making. There's a lot of nuances, and the like the fact like how fucking perfect uh, James plays Tommy. Yeah. It's impeccable. Um, yeah. We, <laughs> you, you, the fucking thing that you always used to quote from that one interview of James and Tommy <laughs> on the late night show. Uh, what the fuck was it that you would say? I can't even. I don't even. I can't even. <sighs> remember. Fuck! I can't remember what it was. Um, I don't. James Franco was on in an interview with Jimmy Kimmel or Conan or some. Yeah, one of those. Guys. Some douchebag <laughs> uh, show host. I mean, they're all fine, but you got to realize they're realistically they're all douchebags, right? Like, yeah, well, you know, what's fucking weird is, um, anyways, okay. let me finish it first, sure, please. Um, he, he, for the, for the film, they put up a, a billboard and James Franco put an actual phone number to a cell phone that yeah. if he called it, he would answer as Tommy Wiseau. Yeah, as Tommy Wiseau. Oh, that's, that's what it was. That you would just that's what you would do you would just go hello it's Tommy Wiseau <laughs> that's what you would do hello <laughs> this is Tommy Wiseau <laughs> you'd be like Fucking, you'd be like what are you talking what? about <laughs> I, yeah I think I think it might have been on a podcast where one day I finally was like okay <laughs> you keep saying you keep saying this I got it like <laughs> what is this from <laughs> And you're like, well, it makes sense that not a soul knows this yes. because uh, it's a very strange reference. But from one interview, fucking years ago, <laughs> no one fucking paid attention to about that. About a film that was making fun of another film. Yeah, it's <laughs> it's ridiculous. But so so I watched. I think I don't know if it's that video or if there's like a longer version of the full interview that I ended up watching and. Um, it seems that James like really like got into like studying for that role. Oh, I believe it. It's crazy. It was too funny. And I don't know if he, like, obviously it's a joke, like a little bit of it. It's a joke, but I think in the interview, he's like, no, like we're paying tribute to this film. I think in a way, yes. Sure. I think, um, so at the end of Disaster Artist, they watch the room and the audience yeah. is laughing and Tommy's character is all like upset. Which I wonder how accurate that was. I would I would think so. Maybe. But I mean they they're still making movies today. Those two guys. James and Tommy? No, Tommy and Oh, Greg. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and Dave Franco's character comes up and says, like, no, they're like they're enjoying it. Dave Franco's, but yeah, yeah, yeah. They say James, yeah, okay. but Dave Franco's. Yeah, he's like, he's like, yeah, he's like, and and I, honestly, like, I feel like that's probably how it happened because the rest of the film seems pretty fucking accurate. Like, obviously, there's some embellishments, but like, for the most part, like I said during the interview, he seemed like he really did his research and like he met with Tommy a lot to like prepare for the role. Yeah, I I just think like that in in that way they that's the outlook that james probably walked away with wanting to pay tribute to the film right yeah like sure it kind of was a funny film but like you know you 
people the fact that people enjoy it is all that matters and i thought exactly. that, was, that was a very interesting like lesson to, or uh whatever message to kind of come away from a movie like that like it just was a because ridiculous movie but. someone perceives your work not as you perceive it does not make it a bad perception yeah yeah you shouldn't you still sh- affecting someone's life exactly yeah you shouldn't feel bad just because they didn't they didn't understand it the way you wanted them to so yeah, i thought that was that was kind of interesting come come that part i was like oh wow good go for you guys yeah it's pretty cool uh profuse juice how are you feeling about that <sighs> better right like, better okay good yeah sweeter so it's like uh, it's not amazing it's pretty sweet yeah it's still not like I, I i'm not about to go to the store and get some profuse juice but um it's definitely better they describe this beer as balanced and i'm inclined to agree with them oh no it's, kidding yeah i mean it's like it's like balanced for like a hazy tropical <clears throat> beer sure It's not pure pineapple, kiwi, coconut, <laughs> mango, papaya. This has some beer coming in it too. Not as much. Definitely uh, not as much. It's it's definitely low on the bitterness, but it, like the bitterness is there. Hops, you know, but it's like. See, that's bullshit. Eh. Sorry, but. This is 45, the other one was 50. You tell me there's only a five difference? What? Maybe you're just bad at tasting beta acids or something. Alpha. And maybe. I don't know. I'm telling you. I agree. It just doesn't... It, it drink Drinking experience, it doesn't make any fucking difference. We, so... Yeah. We can get mad about this every podcast. Like, it's not subjective. It is objective on how they measure it, but like your taste isn't going to align with that scale. So it's just, it kind of makes it irrelevant. The, 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 as you always say, the data is not wrong. It's just doesn't fucking matter. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Was that someone? Was that uh, your stomach? Was no, I think that was someone. Okay. It kind of sounded like a, it did. Ear- it did. And I'm like, 100%. Is that me? There's a DJ outside. <laughs> error, error. Could be. Uh, so yesterday, I do remember what I did uh, as you spaced out until 7 p.m. Ah, sure did. I smoked my very first pipe. You did. And what a time to have a distraction for you. Uh, it wasn't really a distraction. It was just something like, I was doing. No, I just mean like. No, I know. You know what I mean? I'm not saying you did it because, I'm just saying. Yeah, sure. Uh, Very enjoyable experience. Yeah? I don't think I quite know what I'm doing completely yet, as to be expected. I'm not going to be an expert pipe smoker day one. Which is anything we learned from Tommy Wiseau, though. It doesn't matter if you do it right or wrong, as long as you enjoyed it. Um, But yeah, I I thought it was pleasant. I think you'd really like it. Which one did you smoke? Sorry, which the, strain of tobacco? I did a Tacoma Special Blend. The fuck's that even mean? Don't know. What of like the categories that you? Okay. <laughs> I don't know. Because <laughs> the way you were telling me about the no, categories at one time, they really made it sound like you knew which is which. No, I know which was which. I don't know what that one is. Okay. So when you ordered it, you knew. But now sure. that now that time has passed, you're like, I don't know. Couldn't. You know, right. It's fair. fair. I don't. I don't really care to know at this what point. What did it taste like? Was it similar to cigars that you've smoked? So this is why I think you would like it. It's it's very similar on the like sweeter kind of vanilla tones of a cigar but because there's no paper burning there's no like harshness to it Mm, smooth it's very smooth is it too smooth because i like i want a little bit of like an earthy bite i don't think so i think that's going to be dependent on the tobacco that you sure try though um 
So like maybe this one is too smooth for you, but I, I, I didn't think so. I thought it was, I just thought it was quite nice. Yeah. But in general, the method is it's, it's nicer. It's a lot smoother. I think so. Nice. Um, and it gave me like a weird buzz too. Really? Yeah. I was fucking just laced like a little, little body high there. Interesting. It's weird. That is weird. Um, I have nothing to say about then that. Then again, I also was drinking it old fashioned, so maybe, <laughs> maybe that played into it. I don't know. I mean, yes, but uh, as as you know, I don't know. Yeah, you don't know either, you right? Never yeah, I, pipe. I, I have never smoked a pipe. I don't know really anything about uh, tobacco in general. Uh, is tobacco a drug? I don't know. Sure, I don't know. There's tobacco sure. and cigarettes, but they say nicotine's the drug, so... This is a drug. Well, they say nicotine is the addictive chemical. But they say it's a drug. Sure, but I'm just saying that, like... That's the... They, they, they don't say tobacco isn't a drug. They say right. The addictive agent is the nicotine. No, yeah, and that's, what I'm, yeah, and that's what I'm getting at, is they don't say tobacco isn't a drug, like... Well, I think they said tobacco? Say tobacco is a drug. Tobacco is a drug. Okay. I think they say that. Right. Okay. Everything's a drug though. Like sure. caffeine, sure. sugar. Caffeine is a drug. But sugar technically is, isn't. Is a drug. Technically is. Is. All right. I think so. I don't know about that. Your body either. just needs it to survive. I don't know. Well. Your body doesn't need drugs. I feel your like. Your body doesn't need sugar. Uh, Technically. You don't need to ingest simple sugars, but you... Your body does need to make them. That's your body does need to make glucose. Yes. Yes. You don't maybe, need to ingest glucose. Maybe my body needs to bake tobacco. I don't know. That would be cool. I don't know. I don't know your body. Didn't. Um, now I think my stomach's growling. <laughs> uh, New Batman. Sure. That guy. Yep. Robert. He made a he made a, a movie where like weed grows on people, right? That's a new one for me, bro. I think the movie is High Life. What a great movie. I, I, I said high movie. <laughs> um, I think they're also in space. Ah. But uh, looks like their be. oxygens ran out, so now they are living off of the fumes of the marijuana, or that's the premise as I understand it. It could be incredibly wrong. So there's some lesbian shit going on over there? Yeah, uh, probably. That, that's pretty cool. That's a good movie. Um, that I don't know who this person is, and it's relatively uncalled for, but she looks pretty weird. This chick? Yeah. I don't know, man. Maybe you should watch the movie. Probably. After watching The Expanse. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Yeah, one thing at a time. I don't know. I don't know no either. Idea. I remember seeing, like, that poster. Like, I remember seeing that. Um, but I don't know anything about it other than what you just told me. Monty and his baby daughter are the last survivors of a damned and dangerous mission to the outer reaches of the solar system. They must now rely on each other to survive as they hurtle towards the oblivion of a black hole. Well, if they're going to a black hole, why do they need to rely on each other to survive? Also, like, aren't they just kind of dead? I don't like how they refer to her as baby daughter. Just, just I think daughter suffices. I think baby suffices. I don't think you need to. I think, I think it's a little overkill, personally. Maybe she doesn't have a, a name. And they want to dictate her babiness. <laughs> uh, you know, uh, could be. I don't know. Monty is serving a life sentence for killing a friend for murdering his dog as a child. Wait. Seems like a little overboard. So his friend killed his dog and then he killed him? Yeah. That's fair. I know. That's what I'm saying. Like, That's pretty spot on. Yeah. Life sentence seems a bit much. Being in jail at all seems a bit much. Yeah. You, he threatened, not only threatened, but destroyed your property. Yeah. So, uh, in Texas, that's grounds to fucking shoot a man. 
What do you think? Yeah, no, right on par. It's exactly how I remember it. Better than the fucking bitch trail. Uh, it's like, yeah, I'm not, and, and uh, I'm not trying to go out and get a fucking six pack of it. The only time I ever had this beer, Garrett was like jizzing over it. And so he brought me like two from home. The profuse juice. Yeah. And so I drank both of them. And I'm Yikes. like, yeah, I'm like, it's, it's fine. It's, it's fine. It's not bad. I'll drink them both. I'm not going to let it go to waste. Yeah, I'm just... I. But I wouldn't go out of my way to like grab a six-pack of like this. like 10-barrel. It just is what it is. Yeah. Uh, also, it really bugs me. Hazy trail. The man's walking on the beach. It's not even hazy. There's no haze. It's It's crystal fucking clear. They got fucking M5 on Visco <laughs> on that fucking shit. And like... What's the trail? There's no... It's a beach. Yeah. There's nothing. You need a fucking... You need to be staring down a wooded glen or a trail and there's fucking fog everywhere. That's hazy trail. Yeah. Doesn't taste like this. But if that's what you're going to call the beer, that's your graphic. Yeah. So... Yeah, correct. <laughs> The graphics wrong. The name for this tasting taste of beer is wrong. Yeah, there's just a lot wrong. Profuse, <clears throat> profuse juice nailed the title. Fucking nailed it. Yeah, that's what this is. No avoiding it. Hazy IPA, gnarly. Uh. I'm seeing we're at the beach again, I think, is what it looks like. It's like kind of hazy hard to trail. Hazy trail. I could use a little more haze, but sure. Hazy trail. Absolutely. Absolutely. Got a trail. Well, that reminds me of my That's buddy nice. uh, Matt. I don't think he still listens to this Matt, podcast. Matt, 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 Matt. I wouldn't. He's but Matt. He's probably going to be coming here. Mid March. Wow. And I say that so we need to go on a need to go on a good hike. Nah. By nah you mean yeah? I don't know. Yeah. You mean yeah. That was all. Hazy trail. Hazy trail. That's nice. I like the tree. That's nice. I mean, there were trees in the other one, but that was, <laughs> <laughs> that was like a main focus. I like that tree. <laughs> and I like it. It's, nice. it's an aspen. It's a nice one. Yeah. Tell by the way it is. <laughs> it's not an aspen tree. No, it wasn't. Not at all. I don't even know what an aspen tree is, but I, I know it's not that. They're, they're similar. They, they like, they, the color is similar to birches, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's weird. I hate birch trees. They're fine. They just oh, grow weird. They look like bird poop. Yeah, they do look like bird poop. Birds already poop on the tree. We don't need your tree to yeah. produce it. No reason. Spit overkill. Like, why, why do you have to be so different than other trees? Where do you get off? Like, is the white, like, does it help reflect the heat? And that's why it grows better white, but needs some black to get some heat. <laughs> why don't they just go for like a lighter brown? There's uh like aren't there like some I'm picturing I'm picturing a tree that's kind of the wood is kind of red, but the outer bark is pretty like gray white. Uh in Minecraft you're talking about the acacia tree. Sure. I wonder what that's like. Is that a real life tree? Yeah. I wonder if it's gray. Acacia. Like, like, acai. Always a weird. I was, uh, I was, uh, <laughs> there's a band called the Acacia Strain. And I just started to type that because <laughs> I was thinking about that as I was typing uh, this. No. <laughs> No, not at all. This is a fucking African tree. Yeah? This is a fucking African tree. No, I mean everything, but 
It's definitely not white. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's gray. No, it's not. In Minecraft. Yes, it is. You're talking about the cedar tree. Cedar? Yep. Are you sure? No. Okay. Cedar tree. You're talking about... Stop. The redwoods. No. No. I got... um Cherry wood. So I have a... Uh, a walnut tree. I have a beard balm that is cedar-like, you know, nice and woody. I'm sorry. I am not at all. Okay. Why would you be? Never mind. Actually, yes, I'm questioning this. It, you know, it's just... It's like... I want to smell sawdust when I, when I get a whiff See, of this. Yeah, I don't like that. I love that. I, it's just like... It's like vanilla to me. It's just overpowering. Oh, really? Okay. So there's no nuance to your Can smell you smell like me from here? No. Okay. Well, good for you. I get, I get like... I wonder what my beard smells like today. I get like tiny whiffs here and there. Like, like mac and cheese and chicken nuggets. Yeah, I like what I'm wearing. <laughs> what is it? It's a, uh, like a balm. Yeah. There's no way you smell it. Like you gotta like use it yourself. Yeah, I don't really want. Yeah, I don't want to. Yeah. Or you can be like at a, a drunk girl at a bar. Let me smell your beard. There was a time As where she's like already smelling my beard. Yeah, it's like, basically in her mouth. Yeah, you don't have a choice in this. Yeah. By let me, she means... Already grabbed my beard. Grabbed. Face in it. Yeah. yeah. No, it's it's a thing. Yeah. Weird. Uh, so I, I like... Yeah, I want I want to smell like pure sawdust. Um, yeah, why don't you just put sawdust in your beard then? See, I've done that accidentally, and yeah. it's a nice smell, and that's why I want to do that. I have two, I have two smells that I have yet to perfectly... To find a perfect replication of. Uh, one is sawdust. Um, sure, it smells woody and cedar-like, but that's mm -hmm. not what sawdust smells like, you know? It's yeah. it's a very, it's distinctly different. Yeah. And I like cedar, but it's different. And your other one's hops. Okay, I have three smells. <laughs> <laughs> one is hops. For fuck's sake, if I, I should have like, returned that candle and like or wrote hate mail to them or something because that was it was fucking vanilla you know the candle was fucking vanilla no, and I, they said it was hot i know how they they collaborated with uh off color brewing that's what they ended up true with. true they're like hey can we make a, a wild candle <laughs> and they're like hey can we make a hop candle no Anyways, what's your third? My third is beach. You would think. You would think. I don't it's know fucking beach, everywhere. I, I know, want. I don't know what beach means. I to me, to me, I specifically want to smell sand. I don't think you salt smell sand and sunscreen, and that's the part that a lot. Oh, that's why it doesn't exist because I love like. The combination of all three of those is, oh my god, I fucking love that smell. Why don't, okay. Why don't I just rub sunscreen in my beard? <laughs> is that what you're going to say? No, actually. <laughs> okay. I have a solution for you. Okay. Coconut shampoo and conditioner. Okay. Right. I'm, I'm tracking. I, I, yep. I use it. It's very okay. like tropical coconutty. Yeah, I get where you're going Great. with this so far. Then get out of the shower, a couple sprays of sea salt spray. That's a thing? Yeah, like I use it because it helps texture my beard a little bit because I got like real straight hair. Mm. Um, and then, you know, maybe you just get like a kind of a tropical beard balm oil thing. Those are usually too fruity and sweet smelling. Yeah, but you already have the sea salt spray. It's going to balance it out. Maybe, maybe like a slightly earthy thing going on. Okay. Hey, this know. is your smell that you're inventing. 
I'll let you figure it out. I'm just giving you some ideas. Thanks. I appreciate that. The coconut and uh, the sea salt spray. Those, I mean, the coconut I've heard of, but I never thought to combine them all together. The sea salt spray, that's new for me. That's interesting. Um, and I've also looked, at, like, I've looked for, I, I want a soap. Because you know how they, they, everyone has all these fucking bars of soap and they have all these, like, exfoliants and whatnot going on in them. This is what I use. Okay, yeah. That stuff's great. That's not bad either. I was about to say, I was about to look over and be like, I'm not paying a million fucking dollars, bro. Yeah, not a million Looks dollars. fancy pants. And then I'll go over and I'll be like, oh, okay, that's, that's pretty nice. decent. That's nice. Yeah, I'll, I'll do that. Um, I currently have, which based off of my current understanding of you, you would not Uh-oh. like. Um, Talking about shampoo? Yes. Is it like a three-in-one ordeal? No, I don't do that. Good. <laughs> it they changed it. It used to smell a little different. It used to smell a little bit more grainy, but it's it's still pretty nice. They're Duffy's IPA shampoo. It's not bad. I I I like it. I don't think you would love it. Yeah, I haven't liked any beer. All right, the one I actually, the uh, body wash that I use actually has hops in it. Yeah. Um, that one I actually like. That's nice. This but is, this generally is. I don't like beer. Yeah. This products. is not hoppy at all. I don't know why they specifically call out that it's IPA. Because they're marketing it to yeah, that's, you. That's true. Well, the, the jokes on them, I liked it before they called it that. Well, it, it was in the same type of bottle, but it was just called. It was literally just called beer shampoo, and I was at a, I was at a barber shop in Santa Monica, and you were like, "I like this." Yeah, <laughs> I'll take it. And it it was amazing. Not only did it smell pretty good, like the tiniest drop, like we're talking like small, like pretty much the size of a dime drop, if anything smaller. And it would like suds up like fucking crazy. And it was like all you needed for your hair. And I was like, this is amazing. And that thing lasted me like a year. It was crazy. Pretty impressive. Yeah. The one that I got now is. Not that. <laughs> it's yeah. It's the exact same thing. They just rebranded it. And clearly they changed the recipe because it's not as good. They anymore. weren't selling enough. Yeah. Check it Turns out. out someone using a bottle shampoo for a year is not lucrative. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably what it, what it really is. <laughs> But yeah. Uh, should we just kind of? I mean, we've kind of talked about these. We're we gonna. I don't. Maybe give them each a letter. Maybe just give some light thoughts on. I was them? gonna give them a, a rating, but a letter probably works better. Yeah, I think so. Uh, D. Might think that's a little harsh. I don't. It's not. Yeah. You're lucky. You got a grade. <laughs> You're lucky. You got a grade. Uh, D. It's just, there's no continuity in theme, in name, in flavor. Um, there's a lot of off-putting flavors in there. It just was overall relatively unpleasant. Bad apple of the pack that you don't want four of. Exactly. You're happy there's only three. Exactly. Profuse juice. Where are we going there? This is my podcast. That's a C. Sure. Live your life. It's a B for me. No, it's a C. It's a B. It's, they, come on. Profuse juice and it's a hazy IPA. I think they nailed it. Okay. Just because they nailed the name doesn't mean it's good. We're given letters. We're not given ratings. So I don't want to get into the whole thing. So I'm saying it's my podcast. Not, sure. I'm not doing numbers. Exactly. This is my subjective opinion. Yes. C. Yes. Beer isn't good. I don't want another one. Well, it's not not good. The beer isn't good. I don't want another one. Wow. Old statement. Some subjectivity might be because I don't like Tim Barrel. <laughs> Do not think they make a good IPA. Others might think there's a lot of subjectivity in there. And, uh, you know, Tim Barrel. 
Prove me wrong. Yeah, and it's sad too because they're. Let me ask you this: What's good about this beer? Um, I think it has for a super hazy beer, which this is, this is like a New England style IPA. I think we can we can call. They make it. no, it's not. It totally it's is. going after it, but it's not. Oh, no, it totally no. is. It's they make a beer called, tails, the, very called least. the Cran Hop IPA. See, they just fucking gross. Yeah, they what just, the, who the they're fuck just are trying you? to piss me off. Who the fuck are you? Uh, it's not because like a uh standard New England IPA has a lot of nasal hop notes that typically are not associated with uh tropical flavors and lean heavily on uh more citrus flavors and this is just I, smooth i disagree juice I, I think you're thinking of hazy west coast ipas no. and the new england style is just fucking orange juice over here this is an orange juice basically no this is like uh like smooth uh pineapple. filtered pineapple juice like that's what i'm saying there's, there's no like like my favorite thing about like uh one of the things i enjoy because i just said my favorite with a hazy i'm like <laughs> back off there slow your roll <laughs> One of the things that I uh, enjoy about New England hazies is like early spring, sunny, things are starting to warm up and you get like burst of like nasal hops and then like mellowed syrupy sugar. It's almost got like a bite to it. It's almost like drinking a Pepsi. Yeah, it's like, well... Yeah, but see, that's... And it calms down and fizzles into, like, the sugary, malty things. Yeah, well, see, except not malty in the New England case, but... That's right, yeah, that's where I disagree, though. I feel like that, like, I would call that a hazy IPA, rightfully so, but I feel like the New England-style ones are just, just like, the saying. pure juice. No. Then what's... Nah, never mind. <laughs> Either way, she needed your New England hazy episode, bring this beer, and I'll just... <laughs> Prove you wrong. Sure. I, or I'll prove myself oh, wrong. Sure. Either way, I'll be happy, to be honest. No, you won't. I will. Are you drinking like six hazy beers? <laughs> really? You'll be happy? We drunk. Yeah, fair. <laughs> uh, I think it's fine. Like I think it's... Beer, uh, so. For 10 barrel, for like a really fucking hazy beer, uh, and for how fucking cold it, it is and the time of year we're in, I, I don't think it's terrible. Um, I don't love it. I would not buy it. But I think for what it is, it did pretty good. If someone gave it to you, you'd drink it. Exactly. Hey, wait. Also, they got waves. Fuck off with your beach. Yeah, I told you everything's beach here. But anyways, uh, please. Ten Barrel is not even on the beach. Like, comment, subscribe. Um, we're obviously not sponsored by Ten Barrel or anything here. We give our honest opinions about the beer. Even if we were sponsored, we would do that. But... Um, it really just helps us out. Uh, as much as we fucking hate Ten Barrel, you know, it helps them out. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess we'll see you on... The next time. Yeah, the next time, which would be next, probably just next Pints. Yeah, Pints is happening, for sure. Yeah. That's going to continue. That's, like, we know Pints is going to continue. Yeah. Uh, for sure. Yeah, so Who but, knows what we're gonna do for anything else? Yeah, we don't know. You'll find out, and so will we. Later.